that your mama loves you so much. While she pleaded for help finding her children in 1994, notorious murderer Susan Smith gave off physical tells. Her eyebrows are flat when instinctively they rise in the center when you're expressing grief. She also provided verbal tells. She got up and she said, you know, I needed, they needed me. She talked in the past tense. So why do we lie? Women lie more to protect other people, avoid conflict. Men lie more to boost themselves up in the image of other people. If you're familiar with the person, it's easier to detect deception. But when dealing with strangers or just people on the street, look for overly specific statements such as, I didn't take that $20 out of that drawer. The truth teller would say, are you crazy? I've never stolen anything in my life. Steven Cheetah. ABC 7 News. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I grew up in a neighborhood for the lie detectors. They were, they were called moms. Yeah. <laughs> they always knew. They always exactly. knew. You always stole hearts when you were going to Oh, them. he still does, right? <laughs> oh. So I wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about the weather because it's yeah. stealing our hearts right no, now. Great. This is awesome. gorgeous. Just a great stretch of weather. This morning was a little chilly. We had some 40s in the burbs, and I think we could do that again tonight. So tomorrow early to start, chilly, but by afternoon, Looking really nice. Okay. Totally right, share with. Nice. I do want to start off. We are a little dry, and I want to point that out there because I had some emails from some of the farmers. And yes, we would love some rain. It would be good to catch up. We still have a little bit of a deficit, but unfortunately, Mother Nature just doesn't have that in the cards for the next couple of days. So, if we have to have a dry stretch, why not have a beautiful dry stretch? And that's what we have in store for us. Take a look since August 1st. So looking back from August through September, we are seeing a rain deficit overall. You can see almost three inches downtown, although we have a little bit of a surplus for the month. We're down overall for the last two months. Look at BWI, they're down quite a bit as well. So definitely a dry stretch of weather. However, a gorgeous stretch of weather on top of that. So we'll, I guess, have to take the good with the bad. Now, as I mentioned earlier, temperatures really dropping back quickly. A combination of things. One, the winds that were a little gusty at times today have dropped back. So that helps things cool off as well. In addition, we have clear skies. So temperatures, look at that, 59 already in Leesburg, 55 Manassas, Winchester down to 57, but even closer into town, 62 over at Andrews, Annapolis in the low to mid 60s. A little bit of the saving grace with the influence of the bay by those temperatures on the water could keep them up. Now, tomorrow morning, Morning. As we get started, upper 50s and near 60 downtown. This is the forecast potential low for early, early tomorrow morning, and it has some low 50s. Look at that 52 in Frederick, 53 in Manassas, 53 in Culpeper, maybe even a few upper 40s in some spots tomorrow. So as you head the kids out the door, you definitely want to make sure they have a jacket. They're like my kids put their name on the back because through the afternoon temperatures will be coming up there and they'll probably shed those jackets. 60s across the mid-Atlantic right now, but the temperatures will fall back. We have nothing really to show. High pressures and charges bringing us nice weather. Now, it will eventually push our temperatures up over the next couple of days in the low to mid 80s, and that will actually take us above average. Typically, this time of year, we should be about 80. We'll be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow through the day on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But look, from the middle section of the country all the way to the east, there's just not much happening out there. Not that we're complaining. Take a look at your forecast then as we look at the uh, next couple of days. 84 for a high for the day tomorrow after a chilly start. So be prepared for a cool start in the morning, but through the afternoon, temperatures warm nicely. 86 for the day on Wednesday as well on Thursday. Your seven day forecast pushing 90 Friday, Saturday, and then temperatures dip back a little bit, but all in all, a pretty nice stretch. Mm -hmm. Get those dry weather. Why not make it nice dry weather? Exactly. Yeah. Really pleasant. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Brian. No problem. Uh, we That's can call good. that Redskin rehab weather. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. A good day at Redskins uh, Park. I'm looking to the left. <laughs> can you tell if I'm lying or not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. To uh, the left. Oh, it's just bad. Well, the Redskins adding insult to injury after losing to the Dolphins and losing to Sean Jackson, the latest on his injury. And the Nats were hoping to pull one out of the hat tonight. So got nice Nats and Phillies. The hat. That's next in sports. Don't be lying. No. Coons is the number one selling Toyota dealer, the number one selling Ford dealer, number one GM dealer, number one Jeep, number one Kia, and on and on and on. And that's because our Coons Wow prices save you up to 25% off MSRP. Plus, Coons gives you up to 25% more for your trade, which is why Coons has sold over 2 million vehicles and counting. Go ahead, see for yourself online now at Coons.com.